Hello and welcome to Win Some Loose More. My name is Dieter and you join me for Why I Like, a little series where I take you through some of the games that we own and tell you why I like them. It's been a while. <laughs> we're very sorry. We're, we've just moved house and we've both just started new jobs so things have been a bit more hectic in life and so we've been a little bit behind on what we're doing but we are back now and I'm here to tell you why I like Friday. Friday is a solo game, so I think this is the first one I've looked at on this channel, uh, where you are playing as Man Friday, trying to help a rather stupid uh, Robinson Crusoe, trying to help him survive uh, life on the island. So I don't, I show you how a little bit of how it works, and I'll come back and tell you why I like Friday. So here we have a game of Friday set up before the game you will shuffle the various cards into the right piles. Over here we have the Robinson cards with pictures, funny names and their numbers which we'll explain in a second. These get shuffled and placed on this tile. Comes with these three tiles. Face down there. And this is all the hazards. This two gets shuffled, we'll explain how this works in a moment. And then here on the top one are aging cards, which are all bad. Uh, there are seven normal strength ones, and then there are a few really bad ones. To begin with, playing at the easiest level, you remove this one in the game that you can add if you want to make the game harder, but I don't. Uh, over here we have the stage identifiers, just the different color cards depending on what stage you're on. And then at the top, before the game, you shuffle from the pirate deck and there's all different things. Uh, you shuffle and deal two of those. They are the final thing you need to defeat. So here we have your food, your life supply. This is corn or grapes or something. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be food of some description, um, but counts as life. And on your turn, it's very simple. You turn over two of the hazard cards, this way up. And we are currently, as we can see on the green stage, so this number over here is how many cards you can draw to try and complete it for free. And currently, because we're in the green phase, this is the number that it would take to do it. So if we chose this one, we would get three cards to try and score two. Or if we chose this one, we could draw four cards to try and score four. Now our deck mostly has zeros in it, so this is not very likely to happen. This is a little more likely to happen. But if we succeed at them, we gain them into our deck. This is a deck builder, and so this becomes a more powerful card. So we have the choice straight away, do we want to go for the slightly easier one, which we might win, or the slightly harder one, which we're probably not going to win, but I'll explain why we, why we might want to do that in a minute. Let's choose this one. So this is the hazard we are facing. This one gets discarded for now. So we get to draw three cards from this deck for free. So we get a zero, a minus one, and a zero. So instead of scoring two, we have currently scored minus one. Now that means we lost, we failed against the hazard, so we need to lose life equal to the difference between our score and what we're aiming for, which now is three. So we have to lose one to three health. One of the great things though, by doing so, for as you see at the top of these cards, there is a symbol of one, food. For every food that we lose, because we lost, we can choose to discard that many cards. So we lost three, so we can actually get rid of these three to make our deck a little bit better, so we know that these won't come up again. None of them have any use, some of them have text here, these do not, so let's get rid of them. They're just out of the game now. We spent three, so we got rid of those. We did fail this though, so this gets discarded. We draw two new hazards. We look at those. This one's really easy, but this card won't be very useful. Let's go for this harder one, and I'll explain what we do there. So we draw one, two, three, four. So again, we're on zero. We had a couple of zeros. We've got a one minus one. Now what we can do, you notice I've left a gap here. We can pay life to keep drawing cards. So we could choose, let's pay a life to draw an extra card. Oh, it's got an even worse for us. Um, 
but that might be all the minus ones. Let's pay one more just to see what happens. And, oh, we get a zero, so no good. So what score are we on? We are on minus one overall. We needed to get four, so we have to pay one, two, three, four, five. It would have been only four, but we drew this. So we pay five, but that does mean, just as before, we can get rid of five of these cards. Let's keep the one, and that's five. None of them good, none of them give us any benefit. So let's get rid of those from the game, and then this one gets discarded, this one gets discarded, and this process just continues. So let's desperately see if we can actually win one. We get a zero, and we get a minus one, no good. <laughs> This is not going well, we pay two, I'm going to get rid of both of those, let's see, come on. Oops, that one got discarded. So they're both one and zero, so all we have to get is not a minus one. So one, in this case, we look at, you notice here, there's text if it ever came into our hand. Uh, a copy allows one number to be copied to another one in the draw, and you can get rid of two cards and draw two more if you want for exchange. I prefer copy, so let's try and score that one. That one gets discarded. All we get is one card, let's see. It's a zero, hooray, we actually succeeded. So this card, we've won, so it goes into our discard pile. Eventually when this runs out, we would get all the ones that we've picked up. So now we've gained an extra one and we've culled it a bit. We would shuffle it and we would put it back on there, except Every time this deck is depleted, we have to add one of the bad aging cards. So for instance, this one, you wouldn't normally look, is stop. So even if I could draw four cards for free, this one turns up, I have to stop immediately. And it would cost two of the food to get rid of instead of one. That would shuffle, and we would continue. Once this deck is depleted, that is the end of the phase, and we move this card round. It is now the yellow phase, so if I show you one of these, now we can only draw one card, but we have to score one, it used to be zero. And then when the deck's been run through again, this becomes the red phase. You have to draw one to be able to score three. So you've always got the choice, do you want to take on a harder one, easy one, how do you want to build your deck? If you have managed to survive through all three phases, then come the pirates, and you get to choose one of these. There's loads of them, I won't show them all now. Uh, and again, how many cards you can draw, five or six. If you pick this one, you have to draw six to score 20. This is five, and this means there's a thing. This is worth two for every of the aging cards you've put in your deck. So you count how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because there's ten to start with. So it would only need one, uh, sorry, two points to beat it. So nice and easy. But as you can see, there's lots of different ones, different numbers. So it doubles the value of any of the cards. You can destroy one of the ones because it's not good. Double, we've seen. You immediately gain one life. So there's all different benefits to different ones. This doesn't have any bad ones. It just has less good ones and better ones, but they're harder to get hold of. Five for 14, so it might be worth trying to get it early on in the game. And that's basically it. You keep going through this, you keep adding these, you build your deck, you refine it through either purposefully or accidentally losing. You're trying to just survive. You don't have to complete all of the hazards, you just have to survive the three stages, get through the deck three times, and then beat the pirates. And if you do that, you've won. So why do I like Friday? Well, the first thing I have to say is I have never won this game. I have never beaten it legally. I've beaten it once or twice where I've kind of allowed myself the one point of health just to see if I would have won and I would have won. But usually on the red stage, the last one, it doesn't go well for me. Um, either because my earlier choices didn't go so well or whatever it is. I haven't won this game and yet I still really like it and that's why I wanted to talk about it is that it's it's that interesting, it's that good. I enjoy solo games, I have a few that I like pulling out, I enjoy when bigger games have a solo mode with them um, and this one is just a really nice uh, mental challenge for me because the choices are always good and always important and always have an impact on what comes later. Do you try and take on the big thing? if 
if you get the choice of the two cards and there's a big one and a little one, do you go for the big thing and try and just get through uh, those so then when you're in the harder levels you've just got the easier ones to do or do you just take the easier ones to build up your deck and you're not wasting so many cards before one of those aging cards goes in or do you go for the big one but intentionally uh, fail it so you can get rid of some of, some of the, the zeros and ones and uh, minus ones just to refine your deck a bit more, it's just very clever um, and these choices you, you feel like you're in control of what you're doing which is a nice thing. Uh, I really like the art style, the kind of cartoon that it is, it's just a lot of fun and the fact that um, Robinson is just a bit stupid <laughs> and that's the name of one of the cards, it's just stupid, he just does things, pokes himself in the eye with a stick or, or just, just kills himself and dies. Um, I like how the difficulty ramps up, those different stages you cycle through. Uh, I like, but I'm not a fan of, uh, the aging cards because they do, you think you're doing really well and all of a sudden it's just the one that says stop, you can't draw any more cards, that's the end of it, you're screwed, oh great, and it costs two um, of the lost health to, to, to get rid of them. Generally I like deck building games and this is a really interesting implementation of it in a in a one player setting. Um, yeah, it's just simple. It's small. You carry it around. I've lent it to a few people, and they beat it <laughs> on even uh, harder settings than I'm on. So clearly, it's uh, my brain just doesn't work the right way. I think my uh, my eldest brother just did it in the first or second try. Tried it once, went, oh, I see what I'm trying to do, and just did it. And I haven't, and I've played it many more times than him. Um, I'm not very good at it, and yet still enjoy it, and I think that's the best thing I can say, is it's fun, it's engaging, uh, and I highly recommend it. If uh, you like the idea of solo gaming, I know for a lot of people, gaming itself, they feel it's a, a very social thing, and it is, um, but I enjoy the sitting down and having that kind of mental challenge. There's a couple of other games we'll look at another time where that's the same thing. They can be played multiplayer, they can be played single, and I like playing it single. And that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're not already, do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you stay notified of new videos as they come out. Do follow us on Twitter. Again, I will try and be a bit more active on that now that we're more settled into our life now. Uh, to, uh, it's at W Sum Elmore. Uh, we're on Facebook as well. Um, but until next time, thank you very much for watching. I've been Dieter for Winsome Loose More. Goodbye. <laughs>